Hi guys, and welcome to Texting UB. Today will be a review of the QNAP TS421, a 4x NAS with dual gigabit and lots of connectivity. The, the NAS features an online web UI which allows you to download both apps, uh, use use the apps in uh, file, uh, file storage situations um, as well as a storage plug and connect feature which allows you to choose any uh, any or multiple of your folders that you have on the NAS uh, to map as network drives. Um, this is a nice feature as it allows you to easily manage your folders although it doesn't uh, provide any volume support so you can only work out how much space you have um, per the whole NAS um, it doesn't tell you how much uh, space you're using on each folder um, until you, for example, went in to each folder, selected everything, and opened up the properties and you know looked at how much it was taking up. Um, but otherwise, you can't map it as a standard Windows share. You can't go uh, onto uh, open a computer uh, or Windows Explorer web, uh, window um, and hit map network drive. That doesn't work. I've tried it. Um, also having dual gigabit means that the first gigabit is used for its um, uh, My QNAP Cloud support which is its remote function where you can access it on the go from outside of your house uh, or outside of your local network which I will have to bring up later as I did have a few issues with it. Um, and otherwise uh, the second gigabit port, if plugged in, is mainly used for the internal storage uh, file transfers. Um, also the first gigabit is mainly used for uh, streaming videos as far as I can tell. Um, but otherwise it has a, a decent use of both gigabit ports when they're plugged in. Um, and it sort of allocates between each uh, port which, it, uh, which is used. Um, it's buzzing way around the side, uh, just over there. It's got a uh, uh, one terabyte hard drive, uh, USB 3 hard drive sitting on the top, plugged in as well. I'll also, I'll be doing a copy from a USB memory stick, putting it in the front and hitting the copy button, and I'll show you how that works. I'll also be stress testing it with both the copy, a copy from my PC to the server, to the NAS, sorry, um, uh, a file from the NAS to the server, uh, and then two videos streaming on my iPad, and my phone. Um, now, I've had a few issues with the QNAP uh, QFile app on my phone um, in streaming uh, WMV, in fact actually streaming uh, any type of video. Um, so I'm using a third party uh, app called, I think it's Explorer with X-Explorer. Um, but it works just as well and it's uh, nice that the NAS is open up to third party apps as well because um, I've used several uh, file explorer apps and it's worked perfectly fine. Um, I'm not too sure about iOS, I'm sure it's the same but uh, well you know if you want to uh, try that you may try that. Um, so let's get on to the testing. Alright guys so uh, I'm deliberately not using a screen recording software because I want to be able to show you the mobile devices and both screens sort of at the same time. So this is the uh, QTS um, UI. Um, has lots of uh, mobile style uh, app icons including QFile which is the one I'm going to be looking at most today but also includes stuff like My QNAP Cloud which I talked about earlier, Multimedia Station, Photo Station, Music Station, Video Station, Download Station etc etc etc. Um, but we're going to op open up the file station here. This gives you a list of all the folders and files um, over this side that uh, are on your NAS. So I'm going to be streaming a video. This is the Xbox, um, and that's actually quite a funny face. So let's play this video. Um, if you don't believe me, quick video. You don't want to listen to that. Um, I'm also going to play a uh, uh, song. This is using a third party app, I couldn't get any videos to play on my phone which is a bit annoying. And then this is the video which as you can see is still playing. Um, now here is the uh, streaming folder um, from the NAS which is here. 
Uh, so I'm going to copy the Windows Blue ISO over. Okay. Um, this is going to be 16 megabits a second to start off with. And then at the same time, I'm also going to copy GTA EFLC uh, to the NAS and we'll see what the speeds come out with. So we're on 14 megabits a second write and 20 megabits, 25 megabits a second read. Now this is fairly strange because when I started doing this, um, I did I had 135 megabits a second plus uh, I had two devices streaming. Um, so for me, this was quite strange. Um, if you like this track, by the way, this is by my cousin, um, and it's a bit strange. Um, he called it Lunar Waves, um, so I'm guessing it's fairly uh, royalty free, um, although you'll probably have to ask him. So what I'm going to do now is finish up this test and I'm going to record what uh, the maximum um, speeds are. Uh, but otherwise that's pretty much the test. As you can see it transfers fairly quickly and it's pretty good because it does does actually allow for the uh, UI or the uh, plug and connect features to work quickly, easily. And also let's uh, let's view some photos while we're at it. So this is my desk, uh, my shelf, my PC, uh, my desk, my keyboard and mouse, my keyboard and mouse and screens, my other desk, uh, my guitar, me holding a cat. Um, I, I had a f had a good laugh when I had a check disc and there was two EA records being processed. Um, RG background, snowmen. And mailboxes. Hope that's a, a parachute there. Cat on a Mac. Dog. Butt face. The physics video icon. Apache icon. Focus right. Uh, MIDI interface icon. My keyboard. Uh, Windows 8. Why? How to fix it. Um, Verse X4 review. I, I5 3570k unboxing desk again that's pretty much all the pictures I also have a lot of songs I also this is all streaming from the website by the way the uh, NAS by the way we also have the intro the old intro that Sunny paid for ha good joke um, otherwise we're pretty much levelling out at 11 and 13 um, I'm going to shut this up because this actually sounds pretty weird and I'm going to stop this as well. Done. Now, we see no difference whatsoever in the speed here, which is kind of cool. Um, as you can see, there's pretty much no difference in speed. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, I think the NAS is pretty decent. Having a four bay functionality means that you can get up to four four terabyte drives. Um, and what I recommend is RAID 1, so that will be 8 terabytes. although you could do 16 if you feel that the NAS is, or those disks are not going to fail. For example, if you bought enterprise level drives, or if you bought, for example, uh, Seagate NAS level drives, or because WD RED drives, which are made for NAS, um, are also, are only go up to 3 terabytes, you'd, uh, you then have uh, 6 or 12 terabytes. Um, now, this is good. Having four bays is great. Having USB 3 on the back, great. Having dual gigabit, great. Um, that little screen in the front is quite handy when you want to find out what the IP address is. Um, a few bugs to note are, are that, uh, number one, I was using my QNAP Cloud um, abroad. I was in the US um, two days ago, actually. Um, and uh, the I was using the NAS and uh, mum it uh, has a DSLR, she gave me the SD card to uh, back up the photos so I copied them to my uh, my laptop and then started copying them to the NAS uh, I got about 100 photos in and I forgot that my laptop had a sleep functionality where it goes to sleep after I think it was an hour or something so it went to sleep after uploading 100 photos I turned my laptop back on and started the uh, open up Chrome again went to my uh, QNAP Cloud ID so it's basically a, a uh, instead of www.myqnapcloud.com, it's whatever you say it is, dot 
qnapcloud.com with the port 8080. Uh, that allows you to access the web UI from outside of your home network. Which is pretty cool by the way, that functionality is, is excellent. I was able to use it on my iPad, my phone with uh, mobile, um, also with the QNAP, uh, QFile apps and the QManager apps, I was able to connect to the NAS from outside my home on my mobile network um, and I was able to you know, play songs um, as long as your internet connection at your house is good enough, um, which mine just about was. I also have a one terabyte hard drive sitting on top as well and that's pretty good because you get pretty good speeds um, and it's plugged into the back so there's definitely no worries about network issues. Um, Otherwise, the NAS is, as I said, pretty fast. It's dual gigabit functionality means that it can have multiple uh, connections from multiple PCs, uh, devices, mobile devices, all that sort of stuff. The um, QFile app apps aren't the best. I do like the iPad version a lot more than I like the Android um, phone size version. Um, having the menus on one side than the content on the other side um, is a lot easier. Uh, the I will show you the uh, QTS 4.0 uh, or 4.1 or whatever it is now um, interface uh, in a separate video. So if you want to see that uh, when it's uploaded, it will be here. Um, if you haven't seen the unboxing and want to see more of the actual product, uh, then click the link here. I'll also show you um, the inside of the NAS, um, which normally you won't see because it will void your warranty. Um, and that will go hopefully after my segment here. So on the back we have a 92mm fan powered by a 4 pin PWM fan header. This bundle of cables here powers your drives, all four. There's also room if you really wanted to, to solder on another 4 pin fan header, although this isn't you know, recommended. On the back we have all your connectivity which is the eSATA, Joe Gigabit, USB 3, USB 2 and power ports. Down the side, uh, under that heatsink, is your CPU, that's, a, that's your uh, single core 2 GHz CPU. Inside the front we have your SATA and SATA power connectors for all four drives with power regulation modules built right next to them. In the back, behind the metal plate to the left, you can see the storage controller. This will, con this will uh, do all the calculations for your uh, RAID or JBOD volumes. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. The uh, NAS menu, um, you hold uh, the top button for two seconds and it takes you into menu and basically that's only really if you want to turn it off or restart it, um, which can be done from the UI, which is pretty nice. Um, I do like the functionality of having different apps, uh, but for 450 quid you do have to make, you, uh, sorry, for 450 quid, not including any drives, that's diskless, you do have to be making a good investment. Uh, I'd also like to note that there are four, there is a 4-bay NAS which has a HDMI port out, so you can plug it, you can put it next to your TV if you have Joe Gigabit next to your TV. Um, it's, it comes in 1-bay, 2-bay and 4-bay and a possibly 8-bay, I'm not too sure about that, um, sizes and it allows you to use that as a media streaming uh, server straight to your TV. So if you don't have, for example, a media center PC attached to your TV, um, then if you want to stream wirelessly stream videos to your TV from you know, your PC, your iPad, your uh, Android device, whatever, that'll work, um, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, that is pretty cool. Um, if you haven't seen Chromecast but you want to get that sort of functionality and you've already bought a NAS, that's something you should check out um, it's by Google and it's awesome. But I shouldn't be plugging all the products, I should be talking about this one. So I'm pretty much done. Um, as I said, I'll show you the, uh, what you call it, the UI later. And just to let you know, the maximum speed that I've ever seen is 135 megabits a second. I took a picture on my phone actually. Um, if I can find the picture, I'll put it here. If not, I'm sorry, but you have to believe me. Um, on the three tests that I did today, uh, I got an average of 30 megabits a second reads and 40 megabits a second writes. Now I know that sounds very strange, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite confused as well. Uh, before I went away, it was very fast. Uh, I'm going to check out my uh, whole networks here, uh, whole network system, and if I test it again in the next couple of days before this video goes up, I'll uh, cut this bit out, do another bit, um, 
and tell you what the actual speeds were but as far as I can tell it's around about I'd say you probably average 50 megabits a second although I have seen multiple times a hundred plus megabits a second both read and write so that's pretty cool and bear in mind that you can stream from multiple devices uh, I'm not sure what the maximum device limit is but you know you probably couldn't max it out so imagine streaming to your TV whilst constantly backing up your PCs maybe nightly it runs a QNAP, uh, my QNAP cloud which means if you're away you go on holiday or you go on business trips a lot, you can set up that, that NAS, you can rip your DVDs onto the NAS, you can download your favourite you know, YouTube videos if you want to, or um, you can download your, your favourite films, or uh, you know, whatever else, or you want, you've got your whole music library and your iPad's only 16 gig and you've got 100 gig of music, you can stream from to your iPad, as long as you have data, co uh, data connection, uh, you can stream to your iPad from your server from your NAS at home um, your favorite music videos photos and if you're at a friend's house and you want to share your videos that's easily done or photos or videos um, that's easily done as well so if you're in the market for a NAS uh, with lots of storage great connectivity great web UI um, which I'll show you later then uh, definitely check out the QNAP TS421 um, if you have any questions, don't forget to put them in the comments below. Um, if you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't like it, dislike. But tell us why, please, um, and we can uh, we can you know make it better. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, check out the UI video when it comes out, which should be in the next week maximum. Um, there has been a content drop. I've been away, and the other two have been lazy. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.